In this video, we're going to take you through hiding the login and administration area in iTheme Security. As you can see, we're in the dashboard looking at the iTheme Security settings. So from here, we just need to go down to hide login area. And this is a really super simple feature to use and can be turned on with just one click. So what we can do is check the box where it says enable hiding the backend feature. And what this will do is provide some more options to us. So the first thing we can do is modify the login slug. So basically just the URL for where you can log in. And you can see the default is set to your WP login, but with no hyphen, it would typically have one um, and end with .php. So, so you could change this to login WordPress or really just anything that you want. Uh, though it says that it cannot be login admin dashboard uh, or WP login .php because uh, those are in use by WordPress. But you know, feel free to change this to whatever you'd like. I'm just going to change mine back to WP login as that's the default and will be easy for me to remember. Uh, but of course, over time, as this plugin becomes very popular, it's quite likely that people will be aware uh, of its existence and will be looking for the login form on that particular page. So at the same time as that this is useful, it could be wise for you to change it to something unique. Then we can turn on theme compatibility. So you can see here, it just says if you have any errors with your theme uh, when you're hiding the back end you can actually turn that on and that should hopefully fix any display errors that you're getting thereafter we have the theme compatibility slug so if your theme compatibility mode is enabled as we've got it enabled at the moment and people are hitting 404 pages it will send them to uh, your site name and then not under slash found you could change this and even put 404 in there if you'd like. You can really do anything you want with it. It's entirely up to you what you do there. Then we can just set a custom login slug. You'll only need to set this up if you know that you need to. So if your theme or something in your WordPress website is using a custom action, you may need to set this. Otherwise, you shouldn't need to make any changes there. But of course, when you're done making changes here, Simply click save all changes and if you have any questions at all, please feel free to ask in the comments below.